on D-Life, a close look at one of the most influential doctors who ever lived and his lifelong focus on diabetes. Welcome to D-Life, your source for a healthy diabetes life. I'm Nicole Johnson. 100 years ago, diabetes was a relatively unknown disease regarded as untreatable by the medical community. But one man helped change that. Over the course of his amazing 60-year career, he transformed diabetes treatment in America and literally wrote the book on diabetes care. His name was Elliot Jocelyn. There are a few physicians that we could point to that have had as much of an influence on how we view the disease and how to use the tools that we have at our disposal than Elliot Jocelyn. Jocelyn was born in 1869, and at that time, a diagnosis of diabetes was a death sentence. Any patient would live six months, a year, maybe a little more, but knew to expect a painful and certain demise. Many physicians didn't want to actually take care of people with diabetes because it was grim work. All of diabetes was stuck. It hadn't moved at all. The people still had the same problems. People would come into the hospital and they'd die quickly. Jocelyn was a 24-year-old Harvard medical student when his aunt was diagnosed with diabetes, and he watched her die. A few years later, his own mother was also diagnosed with the disease. But Sarah Proctor Jocelyn's strong self-discipline would serve her well in managing her diabetes. All I know is that he felt that she lived quite long by paying attention to her diet and her exercise. Dr. Jocelyn and his mother took on the discipline together as part of the treatment. They planned her meals, weighed her food, and enforced a daily exercise routine. She lived for another 10 years, an unprecedented survival rate for the time. He began treating his patients the same way. Soon, word began to spread. Doctors did not want to really treat diabetics. You know, they, were, they made a tremendous commitment on a doctor. They didn't know a lot about diet. They weren't going to have the patient weigh their diet to make it accurate, but he would, so they'd send them over to him. By 1911, Joslin had shifted the focus of his Bay State Road Clinic entirely to the treatment of diabetes. He would remain the world's leading expert for the next 50 years. If you were a young person who has just been diagnosed with diabetes and you showed up at Joslin's doorstep seeking to be cared for, he would have said, the keys to your care are going to be adherence to a very strict diet. Strict to the point that many people are going to find it hard to adhere to. I wish I could promise you more, but if we do this right, you can live for years. The diet often that he recommended would be reduced in calories to a degree that was often labeled semi-starvation. He was tough, and he expected you to do what he told you to do. He gave you the feeling that he was looking for you to be the very best patient that you could be, and he was there to help you. And then he said, all of you are in the fight of your life. And if you win it, you will be happy and productive. But if you don't, your life will be short, painful, and you will die. Joslin's determination would prove insightful, for he was about to see one of the greatest medical discoveries in history, insulin. Later in his life, Joslin would reflect on this moment in a rare video recording. I remember staying awake all night of August 6, 1922, when I heard that I was to get uh, the insulin. The next day, Joslin and his associates gave one of the first insulin injections to a woman they had kept alive by virtual starvation and who was now on the verge of death. Miss March, whose weight had dropped, from 135 pounds to 65 pounds, I gradually regained her weight and strength. Jocelyn was also very canny. He realized this is fantastic, but insulin alone is not going to be enough. The medical community saw the arrival of insulin as a cure, but Jocelyn was a visionary and realized that even with this momentous discovery, patients would need rigid management to flourish. When insulin came on the scene, he had warned right from the beginning, this is a gift. It is a wonderful gift, but we need to be careful because we still have a metabolism, even with insulin, that is not behaving normally. 
He understood the delicate balance between diet, exercise, and insulin, and realized that tight dietary control was critical to successful long-term treatment. For the next 40 years, he expanded the landscape of treatment, never forgetting his strict code of discipline. Elliot Jocelyn's remarkable because he really reacted to all of the issues that a diabetic patient would face and said, I am responsible for the whole gamut of issues. He was the first to understand that a team of healthcare professionals was needed to treat the various complications of diabetes. He wrote the preeminent textbook series on diabetes, pioneered patient education, and established a camp just for children with diabetes. He would not stop until every aspect of diabetes was under control. In diabetes, careful instruction of the patient is the keystone of treatment. He was 87, still seeing patients when he established the Joslin Diabetes Center. Today, it is one of the leading diabetes facilities in the world, treating 20,000 patients annually. We have clinics here at Joslin that serve children and adults. We have specialized services that deal with eye problems, kidney problems, and, and mental health problems. We have 11 research sections. This is the modern Jocelyn Diabetes Center. At the age of 92, Jocelyn was still active, still living the strict life he had learned from his mother. He was teaching at Harvard, going to church, and revising his textbooks. One night, as he laid out his clothes for the next day, he felt ill. He got into bed, and he was reading the Bible. And I think it was the psalm, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills. And then he died. Dr. Joslin's legacy lives on, but his work is not yet finished. The Joslin Center continues to search for better ways to take care of people with diabetes and someday find a cure. In 1993, the Diabetes Control and Complications Trial proved beyond a doubt that tight control curbs diabetes complications, just like Jocelyn had said six decades earlier. For everyone with diabetes, the life and work of Elliot Jocelyn was a profound gift.